Welcome to mboxextreme.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your box from the previous OpenELEC operating system to the new Libre-Elec Linux operating system. This installation is going to be done on the G-Box Q. That's the G-Box with the blue light on top, mainly because that box needs to be updated manually. All right, so since you're watching this video, you'll see a link on the page to download the Libre-Elec uh, Linux uh, operating system. The version is 702.001 and what you need to do is you need to uh, download that file onto your computer. Once it's downloaded, don't unzip it or anything, it's going to be a tar file which is a little end in .tar. Uh, transfer that file onto a USB flash drive. Once you transfer the flash drive, you can stick it in the back of one of the two available ports in the G-Box, which I will do right now. You'll see up top, once you plug it in, it'll tell you you have plugged in an external uh, device, a removable storage device. All right. So, all right. So first thing we need to do is do a hard reset. We need to set the box back to factory settings so we can update the box to the new system. All right. So what you need to do is you need to go to internet setup. Now, since your box is probably older and you have an older, older setup, Internet setup will probably be for you underneath system or it'll be underneath the program's main menu. Uh, this is my newer build, so it's actually underneath system. So go to internet setup, open it up, and make sure on the left-hand side, you'll see system is highlighted. Go to the right. First thing, I'll show you where you can find out what operating system you are running. If you go down to the bottom, you see about on the left. Up top, it says, version. I am running 6.95.3. So that's the open elect version I am running. So go back up to system, go over to the right and scroll down till you see reset to defaults. The one you want to do is reset open elect to defaults. This is a hard reset. This wipes the box completely out, wipes out the old backup that is uh, previously installed. So select reset open Alec to default. It'll ask you yes or no, choose yes. 30 second countdown. And once this installation is complete, you'll be able to update your box with our new uh, very easy custom built update installation process. It's uh, very easy. No more flash drives, no more download on the computer. Everything is done directly from the box. Uh, works great. Let's give it a few seconds here. Your box will either load up, it will say M8, or it will say just like this one said, the S802. Uh, it doesn't matter, they're just different Android uh, uh, systems that were installed, that Open Elect is installed over top. time. All right, okay, so here we are. We are at the welcome screen. Box is totally reset to factory defaults. There's nothing installed on it. It's just a plain Cody system. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down in the bottom right where it says next. Just keep clicking on that. So you get to the main menu here. All right, all right. So first thing we need to do is to go over to system Open that up. 
Go to Appearance on the left-hand side, open Appearance up, and you want to go to File List. Now the one you need to enable is on the right side here, Show Hidden Files and Directories. We need You need to have this uh, enabled to, to be able to bring out the update folder. So once you highlight that, click OK. That's done. You can back out. And now what we need to do is we need to go down the bottom here to File Manager. Open that up. OK. Now since your flash drive is installed, mine is called Untitled because I never named it. Yours will probably be Untitled or it or will be the name of the maybe the brand that you have. Uh, don't worry about these numbers on the side. These are just how big the flash drive is. You could either have a bigger flash drive, a smaller flash drive. That's just storage space. What we need to do is we need to go to uh, root A on the left-hand side and highlight Add Source. Open it up. Then make sure None is highlighted. Well, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. Go to Browse. That was my fault. Go to Browse. Open that up. Once you open up Browse, go to Home Folder, open Home Folder up, and then scroll down. Now, if you didn't have the Show Hidden Files, these files with the period in front, like the dot .update, you wouldn't be able to see them. So that's the reason why we had to uh, enable that, so we can show the hidden files. So you just want to highlight the dot .update folder, click OK. Once you click OK with that, Go over, that'll open up, it'll be totally empty, just two dots on the top. Go over to the right, highlight OK to the right, and then click OK on the remove. Now you'll see down here it says enter a name for this media source, just keep it the way it is. It should be period update. Go to OK, and there we go. Now you'll see, it's on, actually you'll see it's on both sides. On side A, which is A root, what you want to do is highlight the update folder and then click OK to open it up. So it's completely empty. It'll say stored slash dot update and just leave it just like that. Now go to the right, which is B root, root B. Go to your flash drive and open that up. Now if you downloaded the backup, I'm sorry, the tar file on a Mac computer, what you're going to see is a lot of these like the, this is the one you want. It says uh, LibreElect, AM Logic, ARM G Box, seven zero two zero zero one. And see the line in front of it with the period. Uh, Mac computers always make a duplicate copy, and it's four point zero zero KB, which is that's not what you want to transfer over. You want to scroll down. I have other things on this file here. So you want to scroll down and you see the one that says Libreelect AM Logic ARM G Box 702001.tar. And it's 119.3 megabyte. That's the one you want to transfer over. So just make sure you've got the same one. If you have a Windows computer, then you're probably not going to have a duplicate. But since I'm using a Mac, I have a duplicate. All right, so highlight the folder we're going to, the, we're going to transfer the file. Click the menu button or in the remote, which is the little the one with the little lines on it. I'm using the keyboard, so I'm going to be hitting the C button. And you're going to get this menu is going to pop up. You want to select copy. Click that, and then just answer yes, and then you'll see here on the top right, it's transferring over. That's a progress bar. All right, now you'll see. That it just went from the right B to storage update A. All right, so all you need to do now is just back out to the home screen, and on the bottom left, you're going to see a little power button here. Just click that. That'll bring that menu up, and then all you need to do is reboot.
So right now it's probably going to stay on here from anywhere from like maybe two to four minutes, give or take. Uh, and then it will reboot itself again and then you'll have the new system on there. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll unpause it when we get to the uh, home screen again. All right, so that was, uh, that's done now. So now that you're back at the home screen here, you can go over and then you'll see, uh, I'll show you where, to, where you can look to find the, um, where it shows you the version that you have now. So we wait for this uh, keyboard to come up. Okay, so now you'll see on the bottom here, it says Libri Elect. Open it up, go down to about, whoops. And wait a second here, it's trying to find my, uh, my networks. The Wi-Fi. Okay, once it finds the networks, it'll let me go. All right. Uh, okay, there you go. So you see version 702001, and this is for the G-Box. And that's it. That's how you update from OpenElect to LibreElect. And now that this is done, you can go into the section to update your box with our newest custom build update. Uh, I'm sure you have the password already, because if you uh, if you already contacted me about uh, the password to get the file to download for the Libri Elect. All right, so uh, thank you for uh, watching the video. Hopefully, uh, it's pretty easy to follow. And if any have any questions, you can just contact uh, contact us at our uh, contact menu or in the our contact page and you can either email us at mboxextreme at gmail.com. Right, thank you.